All right, here we go. So I am facing now, this is towards the east, straight down Lost Valley Drive. And if you look, now let me zoom in a little, down there, right over the American Legend sign in the fire hydrant, that's a stone wall that separates uh, the, uh, the end of the subdivision, okay? So here, let me go back to, let me look at, see right up there where that fire hydrant is, this is the first lot right here, one, two, four, six, four. Now, let me show you something. Here's the second lot. This is, these are oversized lots. What happens is, see that green pole sticking out of the ground? That's the middle of the lot. That's where the sewer is. So here's the second one over here where that American legend sign is. And that's one, two, four, four, two. So it's slightly raised. So you've got water drainage. You see how the, the this side of the hill, this side of the street's raised. That's good, you want that water to drain off. I'm facing west now, and that's south. So you've got these homes built already. There's two lots that, see those are smaller lots over there. You can see it's a much different uh, size. See this one, this is two lots right here. You see the two green sticks? The green is the center of the lot, and then they'll put a, that's where they tie the sewer into it. <clears throat> Cause the sewer's already in. So this right here, see those boxes in the distance, the green boxes? That's probably the center or the end of this lot or the dividing line between the two. This lot is much higher. This is nice. It's got, you're probably, here, look at, see where the ground is and the car? You've got about three foot rise. Like you see that first house there in the distance, they, they, they walk up to it. I don't know if you like that or not, but I like to be up on something because when it rains, you get that water away from your house. <clears throat> and then, yeah, see those are, those are homes that are in the back. This right here is the alley. And so you would have homes behind you that, that's another phase. Maybe, you know what? Maybe that's, a, that's another builder. That's what it is. That's why American Legend doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, see, this is another builder. So, but if you look at where I am here, I'll walk down. I'm sure this is the lot line right here. This lot, this section is raised about three feet, at least from the street, which is nice. You know, I mean, I'll go down even further and see if you can see it. It's a unique lot. And if you go up, you see you got, there's the corner again behind my car down to about here and then you've got all the way over to this is all one lot this is a big lot see to the fire hydrant you see how like this house they fence it you know like a foot or two in but you've got plenty I mean the front of the house you've got a huge oversized lot I mean from here look it over to where my car is that's probably 75 foot frontage <clears throat> the back is normal it's just the way because the streets curve the front of the house gets bigger again the more land you have the better and you can move your house within a certain amount because again the sewers are already there you can move your house forward or backwards or to, to uh, optimize it when you, they'll do what's called a lot fit and they'll show you exactly where it'll sit and how much space you'll have on the sides 
but this is facing straight south. It's six o'clock now, so the sun's gonna go. That's west. That's south. What's you know in the, in the day you're gonna have the sun there, and in the morning the sun rises in the east. That's north. So again, if you look at houses on this side of the street, like uh, the the shadow. If you look at that white house across the street. If that was uh, your backyard, you see how the house, you sit in the shade. That's why I said perfect houses face south or west. This lot, because of this little curve here, this S curve, you face slightly southwest, more south than west, as you can see on the map. But the houses behind you, in terms of noise, well, that's... Uh, Part of the joys of living in a new new construction community. I mean, I I put up with it. It was the noise was, you know. I, again, it depends when this thing was was going to be built. But remember, the house sits generally towards the front of other lots, so you're going to have a good 40, 50 feet. With me, you know, it's it was the neighbor, so it was, uh, you know, seven in the morning. They're out there building it. But this one. Honestly, uh, for five thousand dollars, and I understand five thousand dollars is a lot of money in Indonesia, but uh, this is a rare lot. If you look at it, I mean, it's uh, it's huge. If you ever wanted to sell it, oversized lots command a significant premium, and I'm not talking five thousand dollars. Okay.